Hi everybody, this is Miss Betty for the Griswold Memorial Library. Happy March. This month we are going to make hedgehogs, or you can call them porcupines if you like, but there is a difference. Hedgehogs are much smaller than porcupines. Hedgehogs hibernate in the winter and come out sometime in March. Porcupines don't hibernate. They do make a den and go into sleep, but they eat all winter long. So what we're going to do today is take a paper plate, cut it in half, so you end up with one half of your paper plate. You can either paint your paper plate brown like I did, or you can use crayons or markers or even some brown construction paper. If you're going to use the construction paper, glue it right onto the half of your paper plate. The paper plate helps because the clothes pins are kind of heavy and the paper plate is a lot stiffer than construction paper. Once you have your half of a paper plate colored however you would like, you're going to take some yellow or bronze or whatever color you think this is and make a smaller half of a circle that will go on the bottom of your paper plate. Glue that on. Take some wiggly eyes and glue on your wiggly eyes. For your nose, you can use fun foam, cut a small circle, or you can even use your marker and color a small circle on some white paper. Or if you have black construction paper, you can use a small circle of that. Or if you have some pom-poms, you can always stick that on as your nose. Then make a little smile on your hedgehog so that everyone will know how happy he is. Take your brown construction paper and cut some egg shapes for your hedgehog's feet. Two egg shaped pieces of brown construction paper. Then you can take your marker and make some some claws on your feet. Take your glue stick and glue your feet right onto your hedgehog so you can see his feet. Now to make your hedgehog quills. You're going to take clothes pins. You can either paint them like I did or you can use your markers or your crayons. And don't forget, they don't all have to be brown. If you want a more colorful hedgehog, you could do your 
quills, all different colors. Now, if you're gonna use paint, make sure you cover your surface so you don't make a mess. And after you've colored your clothes pins, you're gonna to need to let them dry, especially if you painted them. And after they're all dry, you're gonna take your clothes pins and clip them around the outside of the hedgehog's body. And that way, they'll look just like quills. I hope you have a happy March. Thanks for listening. Bye.